Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video I let you guys choose my hair color and you guys did such a good job. You chose something that I've never done before and it's different than things I've done in the past. So I'm really excited to do this today. So I posted on my Instagram story and I said letting you guys choose my next color. Vote on the next slides. I wanted to do multiple categories so that way you guys had a lot of options and it was really down to what you guys wanted instead of me giving you like pink or purple, I wanted it to be like completely narrowed down to whatever you guys wanted. So I started off very broad and then narrowed it down. I asked pastel or neon and you guys voted 59% pastel and 41% neon, which surprised me because I've been doing pastels like all summer. So I figured you guys would want the neons, but nope, you guys are loving the pastels. So we decided on pastels. And then I asked, should I just do one color or multiple colors? And overwhelmingly, you guys said multiple colors with 79%. Only 21% of you said one color. And then I asked the color theme. So I asked warm tones, cool tones, or rainbow. And cool tones got 4,563 votes. Warm tones got 1,809 votes and rainbow got 2,255 votes. So cool tones won by quite a landslide. I was like, okay, like I was pretty excited to see that. Then I let you guys choose the placement of colors. So we know we're doing pastel, cool tones, multiple colors. Now I'm asking, do you guys want ombre or vertical placement? And I gave you guys some cool toned options of what those would look like. And this is the vibe that I got from your guys' answers. Cool tone colors, ombre, multiple shades. And after I posted this picture on my story, I got so many DMs and you guys were like, yes, this is exactly what I was thinking. Yes, this is what we want. So I am here to deliver for you, okay? Let me tell you what we mixed up. Also my makeup, I know, crazy, insane, out there. We're living our best life. I do have a makeup tutorial on this look. I will leave a link for it right up here for you guys. So let me show you what I have mixed up for today's video. Look at these beautiful colors. Stop. You see this shit? Oh, this shit's beautiful. Oh my God, love it. I love these colors. They're so pretty. Let me show you the shades I used. I started out with the Manic Panic Pastelizer for every single shade. And then I just added color little by little. So for the pink, I used Cotton Candy Pink and I used a bunch of this because this is already a pastel shade. So I used almost the whole bottle. For my purple, I used mostly ultraviolet because it has a blue undertone and I wanted it to be like a very light lavender shade, not lilac. I wanted it to be like smoky and more on the lavender shade. Ultraviolet is perfect for that and then I did just add a tiny bit of the electric amethyst in here just to neutralize the blue a tiny bit but still have it lavender for my blue I used rockabilly blue for my mint color I used green envy and this has a very strong bluish undertone to it it's such a gorgeous shade I've never tried this before and now seeing it oh my gosh I love it so much it's like an emerald green shade, I love it. This was still like a bluish green, so I needed to make it more of that mint color. So I just added the tiniest bit of this Caution UV from Crazy Color. So that's what I used to mix these up. Let's go ahead and start applying. I'm jumping right into it. I will leave a link for all of these Manic Panic colors in the description down below in case you want to shop Manic Panic and shop any of these shades. A lot of these I had never used before and seeing them, I was like, I'm so excited. So I'll leave a link to all the color and the pastelizer in the description down below for you guys. Let's start this coloring process. So my hair is obviously a lot shorter than the picture. So I'm gonna do four colors. So I should do here, 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 and here. I'm just going in. I'm going in tonight. Hopefully I made these colors dark enough. That picture I showed is like a very light pastel. So I didn't want to make them too dark. Although seeing this pink, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this um, cotton candy color in here because I don't think this is going to be dark enough. All the other colors are pretty dark. I probably should have just used this right out of the container without mixing it with any pastelizer because it is already a pastel shade. All the other shades were like rich in depth, so I needed to make them lighter. But this one, since it was already considered pastel. I probably did not need to dilute it at all, but that's okay. We're mixing it up, making it darker now. Okay, now let's try. Okay, I think that's better. So we're going to bring this color 
down to like here i think maybe like my temple area so i have to tell you guys what happened to me i'm sure you guys are probably wondering like why my hair looks thin and where are my tape and extensions that i just applied in my hair i will tell you um so i washed my hair for the first time since um bleaching it and dyeing it the um prismatic rainbow and I got in the shower and I started washing my hair and the extensions just all fell out. Like literally one by one, the extensions were not having my bullshit and they all fell out of my hair. And I know exactly why they did it and I know what I did wrong. The first time I applied the extensions, I didn't get them wet at all. I didn't like tone them or anything. I used them directly out of the package. I didn't alter the tone, literally just put them straight in my hair out of the package so they were like really dry and they had never been wet before well this time i obviously toned my extensions to match um, my hair since it was like more white and i did not let them sit overnight and completely dry out i probably should have let them sit for like two days um just to let the tape at the top dry a little bit more um and i did not do that so when I was applying the extensions, some of the area at the top where the tape was, was kind of wet, but it seemed like it was sticking just fine in my hair. So I really didn't think it would be a problem, but nope. First time I wash it, all of the extensions fall out of my hair. And I was like, oh, well, poop, <laughs> that sucks. So I have all of my extensions right here and I'm going to dye them to match my hair and I'm gonna put them back in today. Hair color just looks so much better when my hair is thick. So I want to add them back in. Also, you guys, I forgot to say this when I bleached my roots, but in that bleaching my roots video, I lost so much hair. Um, my hair is really, really, really over my bullshit. Thankfully, I'm not using anything chemical today and I'm just using like a nourishing dye that's good for my hair, but I lost literally two handfuls of hair. Like I'm not joking, like handfuls of hair, gummy ass nasty hair, which my hair is still not as bad. Like this is not the worst it's ever been. My hair has been so much worse than this. So anytime I lose hair, I don't panic. I'm like, is this the worst it's ever been? No, I've had literal bald patches when I was like 17 in high school. I bleached my hair like three or four times in a row with 40 volume and my hair literally fell out and I had like chunks of bald spots and it was like fried. Like when it was dry, it didn't look smooth like this. It looked like hay. So yeah, every time I do damage my hair, I just compare it to that situation. I'm like, is it as bad as that? No, then we're good. We're good. There's no worries. <laughs> Which I know for like most other people, they'd be freaking out at losing so much hair, but it is what it is. And like, I actually love having extensions, so it's fine. I'm also not going to put a mirror behind me to do this today. I feel like I will be able to feel the back of my head pretty well. So when I bleached my hair, obviously, like I said, my a lot of my hair did fall out even more, which is was a little surprising to me because I really tried not to overlap it. And also I had let my hair sit in that deep conditioner and that oil overnight. So um i thought that would help prevent breakage but it did not it fell out way more than any other time i've ever bleached my roots before like just a root touch up it fell out way too much for that so i think i decided i'm gonna stop bleaching my roots at home and i'm gonna go somewhere i'm probably gonna ask the stylist who is going to give me my um extensions i'm probably gonna make an appointment with her to bleach my roots it's really not anything that exciting you know it's not not something i've not done on this channel before i always film me bleaching my roots and it's like kind of repetitive at this point also so i think i'm just gonna go somewhere else to get that done for the health of my hair it's just way easier to have someone else do it like i can see what i'm doing and i can do it like i'm more than capable to do it but i cannot see the back of my head as well as someone else could and i also cannot apply it as precise as someone else could so i just think it's a better idea to go somewhere else and get it done yeah and it all really depends on the price of how much it costs i have a hard time paying other people to do my hair when i could do it myself but at this point, I think it's probably better if I just fork up the money and support someone else in their business to do it <laughs> instead of me continuously frying my hair. Because at this point, that's pretty much the only damaging thing I'm doing to my hair is bleaching my roots. 
I obviously cannot do any bleach based color removers right now or anything like that because my hair is way too damaged and I will not be able to do any bleach based color removers for a very long time. Like the only thing I'm able to do on my hair to remove color is wash it with hot water and dandruff shampoo and do vitamin C um, removers and color oops. Those are like the only things I can do right now to remove color out of my hair if I want it gone. I cannot do the baking soda method. I can't use strip tees. I can't use Pulp Riot blank canvas. I cannot use Joyco color eraser. Literally, if I even, if my hair smells that I'm mixing it up, it's gonna fall off and run away. <laughs> oh God, I'm really glad that like I can have humor about it and I think it's kind of funny. I'm sorry if you're someone who like values your hair that's totally fine. I understand why people value their hair so much because it's literally something that changes your appearance drastically. I am just not that person. I just do not care. And if I did care, I obviously would not be doing this to my hair so much. I love changing my hair. To me, hair isn't a big deal. I know to other people in the world, it can be a big deal. I totally get that. But for me, it's not. Respect you if you love your hair and you would never do this, but I am just not that bitch. I'm like, let's go for it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? After I bleached it and I used that guy tang toner, when I rinsed out the toner, my hair fell out even more. Like, it's probably because I'm still using a developer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I probably should stop using developers. It's 11.30 and my husband just got off work early. Hells to the yeah. So I guess I'll just tell you about it since I'm on camera talking. I'm really hyper today, by the way. I have not had a monster. I've literally only been drinking water but I don't know, I'm excited to talk to you guys. I'm excited to hang out with you. I'm excited to tell you about my life. I don't know, I'm having issues. <laughs> so my husband's work has made him come in an hour early every single day. So he goes in an hour early and then he's been staying like an hour late. So he's working like 11 hours a day, five days a week. When they first said they were gonna do this, they said that they were gonna do it so that way on Fridays, they would only work half a day and they would get off at like 10 or 11. That has not happened. That happened one time all summer and it wasn't even at 10 or 11. They got off at like one. So they only got off like a couple hours early. Basically their plan was to have everyone go in an hour early every day. So that way on Fridays, they could get off early. That hasn't happened. He's just been working like crazy, working his ass off outside all day in the 90 degree sunshine and heat. I feel so bad for him. So he's outside all day working his ass off in a factory. I just, I feel so bad for him. This is the trade he has chosen. So, but yeah, he just texted me that he's on his way home. I think he's home right now. So I'm really excited because this is the first time he's gotten off early all year. Yay, we love that. Maybe I'll have him come in here and say hello to you guys. I have to work, today's Friday. So I have to work today and tomorrow on Saturday which sucks because I've, I've filmed eight videos this week. Eight videos. You guys know I'm busting out this content for you guys. I am really working my ass off <laughs> to give you guys more content, sacrificing my weekends, but that's okay. It's all good. I don't mind. I do not mind the hustle. Ooh, this looks cute. Just like the light pink roots. I'm digging this. Also, why am I so hyper today? I don't know. I've filmed five out of the eight videos so far. This is the sixth one, and then I have two to film tomorrow on Saturday. Also, I just realized I am not wearing gloves. It's all good. It's pastels, so it's really not that big of a deal. I also should probably get a mirror and put it behind me. Also, do you guys love my Halloween decorations? I did that for you guys. I think a lot of you guys probably like Halloween. If you like, bright colored hair and stuff it's kind of a stereotype that you like halloween um i don't agree with the stereotype okay i don't think it's cool but i feel like the world thinks that if you like bright colored hair and you're alternative at all you love halloween and it's your favorite season so there you go i've decorated for all of you who love halloween <laughs> oh my god i can't wait for my husband to be home i can't believe all my extensions fell out in the shower it was the craziest thing i was like what is happening here Literally all of them fell out, but one set. Unbelievable. I'm excited to get so in so I don't have to worry about them falling out in the shower. I'm also really excited about like all these hair colors I'm doing. Also, you guys, I have been wanting bangs. Like, I don't know what is my problem. And I know all of you guys are probably shouting like, do not get bangs. Trust me, I know it's a horrible idea to get bangs. Oh my God, that's a permanent decision. That's like, bitch, you're gonna have to wait a year for them bitches to grow back out, but 
Um, I've been wanting bangs and not even like normal bangs. I've been wanting like the V bangs, like the blunt V shaped bangs. Oh, they're just so dreamy and they've been calling my name. So I think I might order some clip on bangs off of Amazon today and cut them with you guys and dye them with you guys and kind of see what it would look like with bangs before I full out make the decision. But I have a big ass forehead, so bangs wouldn't hurt my situation I got going on here. You know what I'm saying? Cover some of that up. Also, wrinkles, hello, I would be able to lay off the Botox for a while. Nobody would be able to see my forehead wrinkles, so it would not matter. Hi, Deaky. No. You wanna come say hi? I'm naked. No, you're not. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Aaron's got work drama going on. <laughs> Love to live through you. Okay, moving on to the purple color. I also grabbed a wide tooth comb so I could like comb out the color a little bit. I also probably need to put gloves on because it did stain my hand pink a little bit, but I don't see it. <laughs> Ombres, I feel like, are way harder than vertical and they also take way more time, which is why I honestly don't do them very often. They're just way more time consuming and you really gotta make sure to work the color in and blend everything together or else it's not gonna look very good. But ombres are also so beautiful, especially if they're done right. So love to do them. They're just a lot more work. I'm really hoping these colors are gonna turn out good. I think they are, they look really pretty. Look how pretty this looks, you guys, wow. I think I might need to make the purple color darker. I feel like the pink now looks pretty bright compared to all the other colors. So maybe I should make all the other colors a little bit darker. I think I'm gonna do that real quick. I still have like some hints of blue left in my hair. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely see it. I think this is gonna be so pretty. I'm really excited with the pattern and everything you guys chose. Y'all did a great job. Ooh, that purple looks really good now. I feel like that's like the perfect depth. I think the blue looks good too, actually. I don't really think I need to alter the any of the other colors. That purple was just pretty light. I could make the blue a little bit darker, but I don't think I'm going to. Blue's a pain in the ass to get out of the hair, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. I should just leave it and stop messing with things. This is gonna take me Oh my gosh, this is gonna take me so long. I'm really excited because I'm gonna do neon rainbow hair soon. Like literally, the next color after this fades is neon rainbow with the extensions and it's gonna look so good. And I will be doing vitamin C treatment to remove this color in the next couple weeks. Like I'm probably gonna do two or three different vitamin C treatments to try and strip out the color because I do have that extension appointment in a couple weeks and I want my hair to be back to blonde. This should come out pretty easily though. I'll record it for you guys. Sometimes I feel like what's the point in recording the vitamin C treatment because I have so many of them on my channel, but you know, the hair reacts differently with different dyes and different colors. So I still feel like it's educational and also it's just like a video to hang out with me if you are bored or if you want to hang out with someone and you don't have friends, you know? I just kind of feel like why not film it? Why not film the process of doing vitamin C treatments? If I do like multiple of them, I'll make one like vlog type video out of it. If I only do one, it'll just be like, you know, one time doing a vitamin C treatment. But I think I'm probably gonna have to do at least two vitamin Cs to get this color out because some of the colors I'm using are pretty stubborn. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do more than one vitamin C treatment to get rid of this. But also these colors match my makeup so good. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to the Halloween store. This looks so cool. I don't know if they're open yet though. Oh my God, this looks so good. <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh, this pink is pretty bright. I think I maybe shouldn't have added <laughs> all of that extra pink in there, but it's fine. Even if I had a little extra pink in my hair for a while. Deja vu with the Eero Eero. <laughs> oh boy. That shit scarred me on a different level though. I don't think I'll ever use that again in my hair. I haven't used Manic Panic in a while. I might like use a little bit in a mix of some other colors every once in a while, but I've some of my favorite hair artists on Instagram use Manic Panic and it's made me want to use them more. And also when I was in high school, 
I used literally so much manic panic. <laughs> like I used to go into Hot Topic or go into Sally Beauty and get a lot of manic panic. And so it has like a special place in my heart. Also, they're like a bomb company, woman owned, 10% um, of pro, oh, 15, 15% of profits are donated to charity, which is awesome. I don't think a lot of people know that about manic panic. I have loved their color so far. I did use their pink color. I forget what it's called. Hot, hot pink. That's like one of my all time favorite pink colors. And it's very, very easy to remove out of your hair also. I used that one time when I did ombre rainbow and it comes out of the hair so easily. And it's a similar color to Eero Eero neon pink. So if you're looking for a dupe for that, that's a good one. I really like their formulation and everything. And so I think I'm probably gonna start using Manic Panic a lot. I just love the consistency and I love the brand. So I think I'm gonna start using them more. They're just really expensive. Like, I mean, hair dye in general, I feel like is really expensive, but it just feels like you're not getting a lot of product because it's only four ounces. It seems like you're not getting a lot for your money when in reality, it's pretty much the same price as other ones, you know what I'm saying? It's even cheaper than some other brands, but because the packaging is so small, it feels like you're getting less. Look how cool this looks. Oh yeah, we grooving now, baby. One fourth of the way there. I wish I had a coupon code for you guys to use for Manic Panic. I don't think they do that though. I could ask them, but I don't think they have coupon codes for people. I wish they did. I wish I could get a discount for myself <laughs> you know what i'm saying still have to dye my extension so i'm definitely gonna have to mix up a lot more color that's another thing that i've been thinking about once i get that sew in i'm gonna have to use so much more dye to dye my hair so like i'm gonna be running through so much dye <laughs> so a lot of my collection that i've been saving is going to diminish pretty quickly did you guys know this month that I'm filming this video, my husband and I will be together 10 years. It's our 10 year anniversary this month. The big one zero. I met him when I was 16. I did film like a husband Q&A. If you're curious, I will leave an I card up there for ya. We should probably do a new one though, cause that one I think is like a year or two old. And I'm sure some of our answers have changed since then. I hope I'm gonna have enough color to do the back of my head. I'm gonna try and at least get like the top half of my head done. That way if I do have to remix and the colors are a little bit different, maybe they're a little bit too dark, or a little bit too light, you won't be able to notice as much. Cause I definitely am going to have to mix up more of the purple. I don't know about the blue or the teal cause I still have quite a bit of that, but I do think I'm gonna have to mix up more of the other. This is so beautiful. This color combo, it's so good. You guys are awesome. You guys literally killed it. I'm gonna be sad, I think, when I have to try and fade it so I'm able to get my extensions. I just don't wanna go to my extension appointment with leftover color like this and then leave with like blonde extensions and like discolored hair. It's just not gonna look good. And I also feel like it would make the stylist more comfortable if she was installing extensions into hair that matched the extensions, you know? Also, I want neon rainbow hair for my birthday. So I'll only be able to have this for a tiny bit, which is unfortunate, but it's pastel. So it really wouldn't last that long anyway. Got the front two sections done. I'm gonna do the back sections and I'm probably gonna do these off camera just because it's gonna take a lot of my concentration to be able to see what I'm doing back there. Also, you guys can't really see what I'm doing back there anyway. And I'll probably talk with my husband a little bit because I'm excited. So let me do the back of my head and then I'll be back to show you the full product. I also have to dye my extensions. I'm back. I just got all of the back of my hair done. It looks so good. So now I am going to let it process. I'm gonna go ahead and dye my extensions while I'm waiting for this to process. I'm gonna rinse using cold water and I'll be back to show you the finished results. And I'm so excited about it. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, it looks so dreamy. I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna let this process chill out and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am back and look at how good it turned out. Honestly, I was a little worried that I didn't put enough pigment into the pastelizer. 
oh, I was wrong. These colors are literally spot on. Like this looks so much like that reference picture. It's insane. I think this might be like the best time I've ever nailed an inspiration photo. It looks just like the inspo picture. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the color scheme. I love the ombre gradient. All the colors just flow so beautifully together. It's absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with it. I only left it in for like 20 or 30 minutes. It turned out so, so good. I can't get over how like spot on the colors are in the picture to my hair. They're pretty freaking close. And I'm really glad I added pigment when I thought I needed to because it turned out so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am obsessed with this hair. I think it looks so cute. And you guys are the ones who suggested it. So thank you to you guys for suggesting this hair color. It's like one of my favorites, I think. And you guys are the ones who chose it and it's so good. I love it so much. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's sleeping. He's tired. Look how cute this is. It turned out so, so much better than I could have imagined. Like one of my favorites I've ever done for sure, for sure. And I feel like you guys are just gonna love it. Like I already know you guys are gonna love this hair. <laughs> Look how beautiful. I feel like this is the definition of mermaid hair. Like nothing tops this. When you think mermaid hair, this is literally what comes to my mind. It's just the dreamiest hair. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And a big thank you to all of you for choosing this hair color. I definitely wanna do this again in the future when I'm able to. I would love to have you guys choose my hair color again in the future because it turned out so much better than something I could have done. So thank you guys very much for voting and choosing this hair color. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. And if you were to follow me on my Instagram, you could help choose my next hair color. I also ask your guys' opinions about upcoming videos or future video ideas, what you'd wanna see. So if you do wanna be more involved on what goes on on my channel, make sure to follow my Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird.